We broke through the iron door and climbed the spiral staircase beyond to the top of the tower. Before us lay a solemn chapel. Tierra! Rain. Rain. Illuminated by the moonlight streaming through colorful stained glass windows, sat the figure of an elegant young man, quietly playing a pipe organ. I wondered who was making such a racket at this time of night. But I must say, I never expected it to be you, Tierra. It has been a long time, Rin. I did not know where you had gone, but now I have finally found you. I see. Since then, I wonder how much time has passed. I see. The days without you. Stop spouting nonsense. The transient life I give you, I will have you return it here. Is that so? I see. How like you. How very like you, Sierra. You have preyed on human. For the sake of pleasure and prolonging your own life, you have devoured the blood of human and toy with their life. What you have done is unforgivable. That is the true form of the moon rune. We are vampires, Sierra. This is the way it should be. You know how it feels. That sweet, pleasant taste. When you drank my blood. Silence! Sierra! Why? Why must we live in fear? Why must we, we who are not humans, have human hearts? What is the reason for that? Why must we, with our bodies brimming with power, hide like creature of darkness when we are supreme? Superior to humans. Jera, don't tell me you're still pretending you're human. Poor Sierra. I told you to stop spouting nonsense. Have you forgotten? That day you said, if this is my fate, I accept it. Did you not? Though you said that, you still fight for life when you should have returned it to me. If you could not do that, then the only thing waiting for you was perishing. Now there is only one choice left. Chiera! I will chant the songs of Evanescent. Wake me up! Your transient life is over. Such cold words in my last moment. Thank you, Ryan. Those days we spent together I was truly happy. <laughs> Ranch, you planned this from the beginning? Chiara! This meek manner, this proactive outburst, it had all been for this moment. He knew that he couldn't overpower Sierra, the founder. So to survive, he took Sierra's blood. His goal has been to steal her power. Her blood drained, it seems Sierra couldn't move. Holding her, he slowly turned towards me with an evil grin.
You're still here, human. Leave now. And I'll over you, overlook your mistake. You bastard. What are you planning to do with Tierra? Don't worry. Till we leave here with me. She was my master. But now I am hers. And she is my follower. You. It thanks to Tierra that you were able to live as long as you have. And I'm grateful for that. Thanks to her, I can enjoy life eternal and taste through pleasure. My back is burning. The cursed blood that were concealed there were responding to my anger, urging me to draw them out. But I can't give in to them. If I draw a sword, I'll lose sight of myself. I'll be blind with murderous rage. What's wrong? Human, aren't you going to come at me, or are you frozen in fear? It's okay. I don't blame you. A mere human without the protecting, without the protection of a children cannot possibly help the best me. I don't want to admit it, but he's right. I even had trouble with the common undead. What should I do? Check my equipment, rely on the sword on my back. Okay, wait. I'm reloading this. Because this is, you know, I continue not reloading this. I reload the game because it's been a while since I played and I've forgotten what position I am so I think this is the question number 12 and this I use gonna use this to increase a secret yeah I think I gotta do that but to be safe I just gonna save state rely on the sword on my back I can feel Rand's tremendous power pressing in Normal attack probably won't be of any use. Before I realized that I was doing, far less what I was doing, my left hand reached around my back and grabs the pair of snake sword there. Yeah, okay, that's a good answer. It reduced my LP by one. I I need one LP actually to do that and it increase secret by one. Before I knew what was happening, Rain's presence overwhelmed me. Irritatingly, I recalled the time I was so weak that I relied on those words without even understanding their true horror. Oh, your expression has changed. Looks like you're prepared to do this now. I squall at Rain. Rayan, I don't know how to pronounce it, is still holding Sierra in his left arm. Is he trying to say he can beat me one-handed? Human, this has nothing to do with you, does it? I told you I would let you leave. It would be best for you to just walk away. Why oppose me? I want Sierra back, popularity plus one. I just don't like your attitude, secret one? It's for the sake of justice. I'll be one. Cheer back or attitude? I think I use this secret plus one. Oh, so you say, but what do you intend to do? Kill me? Yeah, in the name of the Lodger family. I will defeat you. An oath, hmm? It can show me your power. Fulfill your oath. Rain's right hand shone with a radiance that distorted the surroundings. 
Yeah, trembles as I leap away from the soak wave, creating a gaping hole where I had been standing. Can't you dodge the next one as well? Once again, he attacked me with soak wave. I dodged it by a hair's breadth, thinking to counterattack Rian, but my right shoulder is greased. And I'm sent flying in the opposite direction. Ugh! Close for comfort. <laughs> what happened to that confidence of yours? Off wake, soft me, one after another. I'm fully taking the blow strike on, but the way things are going, I'll be finished before long. Lately, I realized that he has now had me cornered. There's no way to run. This is the end. Shouldn't use such cheesy one-liners. Even when you say it, it's the end, it never is. I raise my left hand above my head and with a flick of my wrist shot an anchor wire out of my sleeve to wrap around the railing on the terrace above. Tugging at the wire with all my strength, I use the recoil to pull myself up through the air and onto the terrace. How agile we are! Somehow, I managed to escape my predicament. predicament. I had probably bowled myself a little time. Would it be enough to set up more tricks? While I talk about this thing, I ran up the stairs that led outside the dome. It's slow. Does he think I escaped? Or did he lose his nerve? Who lost his nerve? I can't fly. Raising my eyes, I found Rayan still holding Shira in his arm, floating above the dome, bad in moonlight. The power of magic. You're an interesting fellow for a human. What have you got up your sleeve this time? Well, I haven't figured it out just yet. Magic should never feel his secret, hmm? Gliding smoothly, Rain closed the gap between us. If I can if I get caught with that right hand of his, I'm as good as they. Good heavens, you're a quick one. Here's the next one. I had hoped to catch him off guard by suddenly firing a dart at him, but he just constantly brushed it off. Is that the best you've got? But I, not waiting for him to speak, and run to the opposite side of the dome. This game of flag is over. The life you possess is limited, human. Brace the little time you have left. Ran swung his right hand down at me, only to suddenly pull it back in mid-air. The recoil knocked him off balance. What? A strong but thin steel wire spun using a special hormone technique while Rain's right hand to the top of the dome, preventing it from moving freely. To make this trick work, I had intentionally sacrificed that dart. We 
twisting my body, I reached out toward Rand's face and ignited the gunpowder. Since his right hand was tied up, he had to loosen his grip on Chiera to try and protect himself. I dashed forward and caught Chiera, but the shock of the explosion blew us back. Counting on you! Chiera and I rolled down the dome. Just as we were about to roll off the dome and into the air, I thrust a dagger into the roof with my right hand. My hand shook under the impact and the combined weight of two people as I struggled to keep my grip on the hill, praying to the gods it would hold. I was lucky. Trying to get a handle on the situation, I checked to see how Sierra is doing. Sierra's body is lifeless. Rayan must have stolen nearly all of her power. Ah! Human! I will not forgive you! I will not forgive you for this! Managed to shield Sierra from Rian's terrifying attack, but there's no time to escape, and Rian sees me instantly. <laughs> Human, squeal, groan, whimper. The more unsightly you cry, the better. <laughs> Foolish human, did you really think you were a match for a king of darkness? Suffer, suffer, want your wretch life. You're the foolish one. I tired of your in incessant chatter. I will shut your mouth once and for all. What the... Sierra! Why? Your arms around me was as warm as before. Not like I was in a familiar stream. But why did you let it go? I see. You drank his blood. Because I could never eat you on my own. God, spirit of the dead, I beseech you. Have mercy on this being and forgive him. Sierra, please, wait. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The spirit, not the place of rebirth. But I, I just want to... To go back, I pray that this being in under the like to live with you in that forest forever. That's why eternal life. Farewell, Ryan. Sierra. With Rayan destroyed, it seems the undead in the mansion had shared the same fate. As the morning down, left behind the mansion that had finally gotten its serenity back after many years. 
Chira. Let's go. All right. Hey, that was different. Hey, I said. You are so obnoxious. Do you not have even one word of kindness for your woman lost in sentiment? Would it have you if I did? <laughs> it was foolish of me to expect anything else from you. Oh, uh, hey. What are you mad at me? Wait a minute. Hey. Am I supposed to carry this again? Wait up! Is there any way I safe now? And so I wound up carrying both Chiara and her luggage again. We walked for a full day, and it was nearly dusk before we finally came across an inn on the main. Stayed the night there. I was exhausted from fighting the night before. As soon as I got into the room, I collapsed on the bed without eating dinner. When I woke up, it was the middle of the night. I raised myself up and saw Sierra sitting at the window, near the lead by a lamp. Are you awake? Yeah. Dinner is over. The landlady was celebrating her complete recovery. It was quite an extravagant affair. I see. That's too bad. Hey, Chiara. 27 true runes at power. Is it a burden? It is your job to find out the answer to that question, is it not? Yeah, I guess so. But for me, it's just a job. For you, it's destiny. I am grateful to the moon rune. These long years I have lived were now all filled with pain. Even if you'll always be alone, Yes, time does not pass for me as it does for humans. Hey, Tierra. If I... I'm saying if... Um, if, I'll, if I've lived long enough as a human and no long, longer have any interest in that, I would walking down the same path as you. I told you before, did I not? You are not my type. I will still accept those feelings. Well, uh? Wait a minute. Hold on. I take it back. I wasn't thinking. Ugh. I can't move my body. <laughs> you do not know when to give up. Now I have a valid reason to feed. Stop! You got to do that once as a favor. Not another drop of blood. But hey! But ugh! <laughs> got eaten. He's got eaten. What that sound? The next morning, when I woke up, Sierra wasn't in her bed, and her luggage had to spare. Typical of her not to say goodbye. Well, it's fine with me. At least now I can finally bid farewell to all that luggage. Jeez. The information I got about true runes. Ugh. Please don't make a copyright thing. 
minutes long. Sorry, baggage boy. The truth is, aside from the moon rune, I do not know much about true runes. After all, I was in that forest for a long time. Please don't make it a copyright strike. Well, I can just silence it, but you will lose this nice voice of me when the song. Okay, guys. Okay, uh, just in case the last part has a song, if it somehow triggers copyright strike, not copyright strike, copyright claims, I will silence it. But so is my voice. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And see you again in the next episode. Have a nice day.